Hey there guys, Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. Well, I really, oh, I really went all out to finish this painting today, man, because uh, usually when I work on a painting, I work on it at maximum a couple hours because it's just such a strain on the eyes, you know, especially when you're working on all the little details. I don't know, maybe it's because, I guess, no, not maybe, I know. <laughs> I know I started straining my eyes even as a kid, you know, looking at books or whatever, magazines in the dark and then getting a headache. Even sometimes I had a headache so bad I would vomit for crying out loud. I didn't know better. I was a kid, you know. Anyway, I'm very uh, happy uh, to have, uh, even though I'm feeling under the weather the past few days, to have finished this painting of my friend David's very rare 59 Pontiac Parisian Coupe. Now, 59 Pontiac Parisiens, of course, is a Canadian version of the Bonneville, which, of course, some Americans uh, think is a joke because it's a, it's a Canadian poncho with an American drivetrain, the engine, transmission, the frame. Um, it does not have the wide track wheels either, but they don't understand that it was just a way for GM Canada to, to sell more cars and it worked. They actually, in Canada for many years, there were more Canadian full-size Pontiacs outsold Chevrolets. Interesting. So, because they were more like Chevrolets, but they were a step up. So anyway, uh, here's the picture that David took, uh, I don't know when, at the orange jewel up there. Got some glare on the screen. You can see it's really an awesome photo he took here. I never asked him, like, oh, yeah, yeah, he took that with an iPhone, eh? And I think he put maybe some kind of a red filter on there, it looks like, like with, with how I film, you know? And if I'm rambling on quickly, it's because I got something important to take care of after this, so I'm not making this a very long video. And, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, the only thing that sucks is, of course, uh, because I'm under the weather, I've, I was also stuck home. And it's just such a gorgeous, beautiful day today. Oh my god, I just, just blew it. I can't, I can't take advantage of it. You know, you got priorities. And my friend David, he's going away for a couple of weeks, so I wanted to finish this for him today, as I said I would. And there's my Gloria. Oh, my kitty cat doing. Meow. Yeah, so, um, and also the thing is, to go back to what I said about the uh, the tone of that picture, uh, like I said, there's like a red filter in it. You can see from what I did, it's, I, I told David, I said, look, I'm going to do it more like the color is supposed to look, you know, having seen this car and filmed it and all that. And, and yeah, that's the correct green. And uh, so it doesn't have like a red filter. Same thing with the pavement. Um, I started off with over here, I actually started with the taillight. Oh, there's those warplanes again. Are they coming back? Yeah, there was a jet fighter that went by here earlier. I heard it. I missed it. Oh, man. Where is it? Where is it? Pass by this way. You get a little bonus. Come on. There he is. There they are. Wow. Whoa, is that cool or what? Right from my apartment. And they're zooming so fast I can't even freaking... Uh, freaking... Uh, can't even freaking focus on them. I remember a lot, you know, I remember one time I saw them go by, I was actually in a wide open on the, the St. Catherine Street Bridge. Um, the St. Catherine uh, Street Bridge near here. And uh, I was right at the top of the bridge and it's like wide open. You have this beautiful view and it's like the best view you can have of all of Hochelaga practically. And, and these planes came over and it scared the bejesus out of me. It was so loud, that sonic boom. I thought we were going to have a freaking attack or something, you know? So anyway, you can see that I had literally just finished. I haven't cleaned anything up here. And yeah, suffice it to say, this is definitely one of the coolest paintings I ever did. I wonder if I put some light on it. Is it going to look better? Let's see. Because I turned these lights off to take a picture. Yeah, it is a bit better, actually. And, you know, you got your, uh, what GM, I think it was, because they had this, this style of bumpers also, like on the Cadillacs, uh, 61, 62, and the Lincolns had that 258, 5960. They call them skegs. They just, these parts of the bumpers on the corner, they just stick out. And again, this is a, the epitome of the jet age, the atomic age, you know, uh, that kind of styling with the fins and, and the, uh, tons of chrome and this jet inspired styling. And now, interestingly enough, I should, I'm glad I thought of it now, but to mention that, uh, it's okay. I've only had five coffees today. Uh, by the way, this is at the famous Montreal orange julep, by the way, which doesn't have the classic car shows anymore, but that's another story. Now you can see because I'm, I'm visually impaired, I've never been able to do properly the right perspective. Like, look, if you look at the perspective on that, right? Okay. You see, what I did is excellent, right? What I did with the bumper and the taillights and the turn signal above that and all that, the trunk, the rear window. But if you look at 
the side perspective that's what was see that how it doesn't you know it doesn't I don't know if you know what I mean it's just it's hard to do that and it was also very hard to do all the little details here in the paint not easy to do that anyway so I'm gonna stop here I want to Excuse me, it might be the COVID. So if you're interested in, um, if you're interested in having, uh, you, if you're in North America or even Europe actually, uh, because you know the, the the postal service is so much more reliable and quicker today. But if you're interested in having your classic vehicle done, if you have a car or you know station wagon, whatever convertible, a van, a pickup, you know the prices start at two hundred dollars Canadian, which is cheaper if you're an American. If it's a, you know like a heavy truck or a bus, it, it's going to cost more. You know, so. Shipping in North America is 30 bucks, I would imagine. And by the way, not this size. This is a custom job. This is a 15 by 30. But for 200 bucks, it's a 16 by 20 paint, inch painting, which I have a canvas right here to show you. Uh, see the difference? Yeah, and actually, this is for my friend Scott there now in Alberta, who doesn't need a plug. But I give him anyway for his channel, Cold War Motors, because, you know, we feed off each other in this, this, this obsession, this addiction of oldies you know it's just a disease they love these classic cars more than ever because today's stuff is all cheap and anyway i don't want to go into it. it's cheap and boring and cheap and dull and anyway so uh yeah that's the next project yeah that's going to be uh, something else there let's just say i'll clue, clue you in it's going to be a classic motorcycle so that's something i've been wanting to do for a while it's kind of cool to look at this and it's like a mirror, you know, that's the whole point for me. If you, As the expression goes, I once heard, if you don't strive for perfection, what's the point? It's obviously not perfect, but it's close. And that's what matters. That's what counts. So, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.